right, let's learn more about Jesus Christ from this book whose name will be revealed at the end of this series. <clears throat> and now it came to pass, some years had passed away, and there came a man among the people, named after the first prophet, whose name was, we're skipping the names, uh, he is Antichrist 1 for this series. <clears throat> And it came to pass, he began to preach among the people, and declare unto them that there should be no Christ. And he preached many things which were flattering unto the people, and this he did that he might overthrow the doctrine of Christ. Time out from the reading. Bear in mind, this is approximately 500 years B.C. <clears throat> Back to the reading. And he labored diligently that he might lead away the hearts of the people, insomuch that he led away many hearts, and he knowing that I, prophet and younger brother of first prophet, had faith in Christ who should come, he saw much opportunity that he might come unto me. And he was learned that he had a perfect knowledge of the language of the people, wherefore he could use much flattery and much power of speech according to the power of the devil. <clears throat> and he had hoped to shake me from the faith, notwithstanding the many revelations and the many things which I had seen concerning these things, for I truly had seen angels, and they had ministered unto me. And also I had heard the voice of the Lord speaking unto me in very word from time to time, wherefore I could not be shaken. And it came to pass that he came unto me, and on this wise did he speak unto me, saying, Brother, I have sought much opportunity that I might speak unto you. For I have heard and also know that thou goest about much preaching that which he called the gospel, or the doctrine of Christ. And ye have led away much of this people, that they pervert the right way of God, and keep not the law of Moses, which is the right way, and convert the law of Moses into the worship of a being, which ye say shall come many hundreds years hence. And now behold, I, sh I Antichrist one, declare unto you that this is blasphemy, for no man knoweth of such things, for he cannot tell of things to come. And after this manner did uh, Antichrist one contend against me. But behold, the Lord God poured his spirit into my soul, insomuch I did con confound him in all his words. And I said unto him, Deniest thou the Christ who shall come? And he said, If there should be a Christ, I would not deny him. But I know there is no Christ, neither has been, nor ever will be. And I said unto him, Believest thou the scriptures? And he said, Yea. And I said unto him, Then ye do not understand them, for they truly testify of Christ. Behold, I say unto you that none of the prophets have written, nor prophesied, save they have spoken concerning this Christ. And this is not all, it has been made manifest unto me, for I have heard and seen, and it also has been made manifest unto me by the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherefore, I know that if there should be no atonement made, all mankind must be lost. And it came to pass that he said unto me, Show me a sign by this power of the Holy Ghost, in the which he knows so much. And I said unto him, What am I that I should tempt God to show unto thee a sign in the thing which thou knowest to be true? Yet thou wilt deny it, because thou art of the devil. Nevertheless, not my will be done, but if God shall smite thee, thee let that be a sign unto thee, that he has both power in heaven and in earth, and also that Christ shall come. And thy will, O Lord, be done, and not mine. And it came to pass, when I had spoken these words, the power of the Lord came upon him, insomuch that he fell to the earth. And it came to pass that he was nursed for the space of many days. And it came to pass that he said unto the people, Gather together on the morrow, for I shall die. Wherefore I desire to speak unto the people before I shall die. And it came to pass that on the morrow the multitude were gathered together, and he spake plainly unto them, and denied the things which he had taught them, and confessed the Christ, and the power of the Holy Ghost, and the ministering of angels. And he spake plainly unto them that he had been deceived by the power of the devil. And he spake of hell, and of eternity, and of eternal punishment. <clears throat> and he said, I fear lest I have committed the unpardonable, unpardonable sin. <clears throat> For I have lied unto God, for I denied the Christ, and said that I believed the scriptures, 
and they truly testify of him. And because I have thus lied unto God, I greatly fear, lest my case shall be awful, but I confess unto God. And it came to pass that when he had said these words, he could say no more, and he gave up the ghost. And when the multitude had witnessed that he spake these things as he was about to give up the ghost, they were astonished exceedingly, insomuch that the power of God came down upon them, and they were overcome that they fell to the earth. Now this was pleasing unto me, for I had requested it of my Father who is in heaven, was in heaven. For he had heard my cry and answered my prayer. And it came to pass that peace and the love of God was restored again among the people. And they searched the scriptures and hearkened no more to the words of this wicked man. And it came to pass that many means were devised to reclaim and restore the group of people named after the bad brother to the knowledge of the truth. But it was all vain, for they delighted in wars and bloodshed, and they had an eternal hatred against us, their brethren, and they sought by the power of their arms to destroy us continually. Wherefore the people, named after the first prophet, did fortify against them with their arms, and with their might, trusting in the God and rock of their salvation. Wherefore they became as yet conquerors of their enemies. And it came to pass that I began to be old, and the record of the people being kept on the other plates. Um, wherefore, I conclude this record, declaring that I have written according to the best of my knowledge, by saying that the time passed away with us, and also our lives passed away, like as it were unto a, us a dream. We, being a lonesome and a solemn people, wanderers cast out from Jerusalem, born in tribulation, in a wilderness, and hated of our brethren, which caused wars and contentions, wherefore we did mourn out our days. And I saw that I must soon go down to my grave. Wherefore I said unto my son, Take these plates. And I told him the things which my brother had commanded me, and he promised obedience unto the commands. And I make an end of my writing upon these plates, which writing has been small. And to the reader I bid farewell, hoping that many of my brethren may read my words. Brethren, adieu. Behold, it came to pass that I, knowing my father, that he was a just man, for he taught me in his language, and also in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, and blessed be the name of my God for it. And I will tell you of the wrestle which I had before God, before I received a remission of my sins. Behold, I went to hunt beasts in the forests, and the words which I had often heard my father speak concerning eternal life and the joy of the saints sunk deep into my heart. And my soul hungered, and I kneeled down before my Maker, and I cried unto him in mighty prayer and supplication for mine own soul. And all the day long did I cry unto him. Yea, when the night came, I did still raise my voice high, that it reached the heavens. And there came a voice unto me, saying, Thy sins are forgiven thee, and thou shalt be blessed. And I knew that God could not lie. Therefore my guilt was swept away. And I said, How is it done? And he said unto me, Because of thy faith in Christ, whom thou hast never before heard nor seen. And many years pass away before he shall manifest himself in the flesh. Wherefore, go to, thy faith hath made thee whole. And now it came to pass that when I had heard these words, I began to feel a desire for the welfare of my brethren, the civilization named after the first prophet to write. Wherefore, I did pour out my whole soul unto God for them. And while I was thus struggling in the spirit, behold, the voice of the Lord came into my mind, saying, I will visit thy brethren according to their diligence in keeping my commandments. I have given unto them this land, and it is a holy land, and I curse it not, save it be for the cause of iniquity. Wherefore, I will visit thy brethren according as I have said, and their transgressions will I bring down with sorrow upon their own heads. And after I had heard these words, my faith began to be unshaken in the Lord. And I prayed unto him with many long strugglings for my brethren, the civilization named after the bad first brother in the beginning of this story. And it came to pass that after I had prayed and labored with diligence, the Lord said unto me, I will grant unto thee according to thy desires, because of thy faith. And now behold, this was the desire which I desired of him. 
that if it so be, if it should so be, that my people, the, the people, should fall into transgression and by any means be destroyed, and the other civilization should not be destroyed, that the Lord God would preserve a record of my people, even if it so be by the power of his holy arm, that it might be brought forth at some future day unto the other civilization, uh, named after Bad Brother, that perhaps they might be brought unto salvation. For at the present our strugglings were vain in restoring them to the true faith, and they swore in their wrath, if it were possible, they would destroy our records, and us, and also all the traditions of our fathers. Wherefore, I knowing that God was able to preserve our records, I cried unto him continually, for he had said unto me, Whatsoever thing ye shall ask in faith, believing that ye shall receive in the name of Christ, ye shall receive it. And I had faith, and I did cry unto God that he would preserve the records. And he covenanted with me that he would bring them forth unto the other civilization in his own due time. And I knew it would be according to the covenant which he had made, wherefore my soul did rest. And the Lord said unto me, Thy fathers have also required this thing of me, and it shall be done unto them according to their faith, for their, their faith was like unto thine. And now it came to pass that I went about among the people, named after the first prophet to write in the book, prophesying of things to come, and testifying of the things which I had heard and seen. And I bear record that the people of uh, this one civilization, named after the first prophet, did seek diligently to restore the other people unto the true faith in God, but our labors were vain, their hatred was fixed, and they were led by their evil nature that they were they became wild and ferocious, and a bloodthirsty people, full of idolatry and filthiness, feeding upon beasts of prey, dwelling in tents, and wandering about in the wilderness with a short skin girdle about their loins, and their heads shaven, and their skill was in the bow, and in the scimitar, and in the axe, and many of them did eat nothing save it was raw meat, and they were continually seeking to destroy us. And it came to pass that the people named after the first prophet did till the land, and raise all manner of grain, and of fruit, and flocks of herds, and and flocks of all manner of cattle of every kind, and goats, and wild goats, and also many horses. And there were exceedingly many prophets among us, and the people were a stiff-necked people, hard to understand. And there was nothing save it was exceeding harshness, preaching and prophesying of wars and contentions, and destructions, and continually reminding them of death, and of the, and the duration of eternity, and the judgments and the power of God, and all these things, stirring them up continually to keep them in the fear of the Lord. I say there was nothing short of these things, and exceedingly great plainness of speech would keep them from going down speedily to destruction. And after this manner do I write concerning them. And I saw wars between the people named after the first prophet and the people named after the bad brother in the course of my days. And it came to pass that I began to be old, and an hundred and seventy and nine years had passed away from the time that our father left Jerusalem. And I saw that I must soon go down to my grave, having been wrought upon by the power of God, that I must preach and prophesy unto this people, and declare the word according to the truth which is in Christ. And I have declared it in all my days, and have rejoiced in it above that of the world. And I soon go to the place of my rest, which is with my Redeemer, for I know that in him I shall rest. And I rejoice in the day when my, my mortal shall put on immortality, and shall stand before him. And then shall I see his face with pleasure, and he will say unto me, Come unto me, ye blessed. There is a place prepared for you in the mansions of my Father. Amen. Now behold, I write a few words according to the command of my Father, that our genealogy may be kept. And as these plates are small, and as these things are written for the intent of the benefit of our brethren, the civilization or society named after the bad brother, wherefore it must needs be that I write a little, but I shall not write the things of my prophesying, nor my revelations. For what could I write more than my fathers have written? For have they not revealed the plan of salvation? 
I say unto you, Yea, and this sufficeth me. And behold, it is expedient that much should be done among this people because of the hardness of their hearts and the deafness of their ears and the blindness of their minds and the stiffness of their necks. Nevertheless, God is exceedingly merciful unto them and has not yet swept them off from the face of the land. And there are many among us who have many revelations, for they are not, are not all stiff-necked. And as many as are not stiff-necked and have faith have communion with the Holy Spirit, which maketh manifest unto the children of men according to their faith. Now behold, two hundred years had passed away, and the people, named after the first prophet written in the book, had waxed strong in the land, and they observed to keep the law of Moses and the Sabbath day holy unto the Lord. And they profaned not, neither did they blaspheme, and the laws of the land were exceedingly strict. strict. And they were scattered upon much of the face of the land, and the other civilization also. And they were exceedingly more numerous than were they of the people named after the first prophet in the book. And they loved murder and would drink the blood of beasts. And it came to pass that they came many times against us, to battle. But our kings and our leaders were mighty men in the faith of the Lord, and they taught the people the ways of the Lord. Wherefore we withstood the people named after the bad brother, and swept them away out of, out of our lands, and began to fortify our cities, or whatsoever place of our inheritance. And we multiplied exceedingly, and spread upon the face of the land, and became exceedingly rich in gold, and in silver, and in precious things. And in fine workmanship of wood and buildings and the machinery, and also in iron and copper and brass and steel, making all manner of tools of every kind, till the ground, and weapons of war, let's see, to till the ground, yea, the sharp pointed arrow, and the quiver, and the dart, and the javelin, and all preparations for war. And thus being prepared to meet the other people, they did not prosper against us, but the word of the Lord was verified, which he spake unto our fathers, saying that, Inasmuch as ye will keep my commandments, ye shall prosper in the land. And it came to pass that the prophets of the Lord did threaten the people according to the word of God, that if they did not keep the commandments, but should fall into transgression, they would be destroyed from off the face of the land. Wherefore the prophets and the priests and the teachers did labor diligently, exhorting with all long suffering the people to diligence, teaching the law of Moses, and the intent for which it was given, persuading them to look forward unto the Messiah and believe in him, to come as though he already was. And after this manner did they teach them. And it came to pass, by so doing, they kept them from being destroyed upon the face of the land. For they did prick their hearts with the word continually, stirring them up to repentance. And it came to pass that two hundred and thirty and eight years had passed away, after the manner of wars and contentions and dissensions for the space of much of the time. And I do not write more, for the plates are small, but behold, my brethren, ye can go to the other plates, for behold, upon the, them the records of our wars are engraven according to the writings of the kings, or those which they caused to be written. And I deliver these plates into the hands of my son, that they may be kept according to the commandments of my father, fathers. This. Okay. Behold, it came to pass that I, being commanded by my father, that I should write somewhat upon these plates to preserve our genealogy. Wherefore, in my days I would that ye should know that I fought much with the sword to preserve my people, the nation named after the first prophet to write in the book, from falling into the hands of their enemies, the civilization or nation that named after the bad brother at the beginning of the book. But behold, I of myself am a wicked man, and I have not kept the statutes and the commandments of the Lord as I ought to have done. And it came to pass two hundred and seventy and six years had passed away, and we had many seasons of peace, and we had many seasons of serious war, and bloodshed. Yea, in fine, two hundred and eighty and two years had passed away, and I had kept these plates according to the commands of my father, and I conferred them upon my son, and I make an end. Now I write the things whatsoever I write, this is the son, 
which are few in the book of my father. Behold, it came to pass that three hundred and twenty years had passed away, and the more part of the nation named after the first prophet to write in the book were destroyed. For the Lord would not suffer after he had led them out of the land of Jerusalem and kept and preserved them from falling into the hands of their enemies, yea, he would not suffer that the word should not be verified, which he spake unto our fathers, saying that inasmuch as ye will not keep my commandments, ye shall not prosper in the land. And wherefore the Lord did visit them in great judgment. Nevertheless, he did spare the righteous, that they should not perish, but did deliver them out of the hands of their enemies. And it came to pass, I did deliver the plates unto my brother. And now I, the brother writes his name, Write what few things I write in the same book with my brother, for behold, I saw the last which he wrote, that he wrote it with his own hand, and he wrote it in the day that he delivered them unto me. And after this manner we keep the records, for it is according to the commandments of our fathers, and I make an end. Behold, I, says the name, am the son of, previous person in a paragraph, the previous verse or paragraph, behold, it came to pass, that I saw much war and contention between my people and their enemy nation, one named after the, the writer's people, or one named after the first prophet to write in the book, and the other nation named after the bad brother. And I, with my own sword, have taken the lives of many of the names of the nation um, in defense of my brethren. And behold, the record of this people is engraven upon plates which is had by the kings according to the generations. And I know of no revelation save that which has been written, neither prophecy. Wherefore, that which is sufficient is written, and I make an end. Behold, I am, says his name, the son of previous person to write, Behold, I will speak unto you somewhat concerning a prophet who becomes a king and prophet, who was made king over the third land. For behold, he being warned of the Lord that he should flee out of the second land, and as many as would hearken unto the voice of the Lord should also depart out of the land with him into the wilderness. And it came to pass that he did according as the Lord had commanded him, and they departed out of the land into the wilderness, as many as would hearken unto the voice of the Lord, and they were led by many preachings and prophesyings. And they were admonished continually by the word of God, and they were led by the power of his arm through the wilderness, until they came into the land, which is called the third land, third land by me, <laughs> um, and they discovered a people who were called the people of third land, and there was great rejoicing among the people of the third land, and also king of third land did rejoice exceedingly, because the Lord had sent the people of the prophet who became a king, with the brass plates which contained the record of the Jews. Um, just in case you forgot, when I'm going through this, I'm focusing on Jesus Christ. Who the names of the prophets are is unimportant about Jesus Christ. So, um, you know, I'm not saying those names. Behold, it came to pass that the prophet who became a king discovered that the people of the third land came out of Jerusalem at the same time that Zedekiah king of Judah was carried away captive into Babylon and they journeyed in the wilderness and were brought by the hand of the Lord across the great waters into the land where um, where the prophet who became a king discovered them and they had dwelt there from that time forth and at that at the time that the prophet discovered them they had become exceedingly numerous Nevertheless, they had had many wars and serious contentions, and had fallen by the sword from time to time, and their language had become corrupted, and they had brought no records with them, and they denied the being of their creator, and <coughs> the prophet who became king, nor the people of the prophet who became king, could understand them. But it came to pass that the prophet caused that they should be taught in his language, and it came to pass that after they were taught in the language of the prophet, the king of the third land gave a genealogy of his fathers according to his memory, and they are written but not on these plates. And it came to pass that the people of the third land and of the prophet did unite together, and the prophet was appointed to be their king. 
And it came to pass, that in the days of the prophet king, there was a large stone brought unto him with engravings on it. And he did interpret the engravings by the gift and power of God. And they gave an account of one old man, who, let's see, and the slain of his people, and the old man was discovered by the people of the third land, and he dwelt with them for the space of nine moons. It also spake a few words concerning his fathers, and his first parents came out from the tower at the time the Lord confounded the language of the people. And the severity of the Lord fell upon them according to his judgments, which are just. And their bones lay scattered in the land northward. Behold, I was born in the days of the prophet who became king, and I have lived to see his death. And his son, let's see, reigneth in his stead. Behold, I have seen the days of king, second king, um, and prophet, a serious war, much bloodshed between the people named after the first prophet and the bad brother. But behold, the people, the nation named after the uh, first prophet, did obtain much advantage over them. Yea, insomuch that uh, prophet king too did drive them out of the third land. And it came to pass that I began to be old, and having no seed. And knowing prophet king number two to be a just man before the Lord, wherefore I shall deliver up these plates unto him, exhorting all men to come unto God, the Holy One of Israel, and believe in prophesying, and in revelations, and in the ministering of angels, and in the gift of speaking with tongues, and in the gift of interpreting tongues, and in all things which are good, for there is nothing which is good, save it comes from the Lord, and that which is evil cometh from the devil." And now, my beloved brethren, I would that you should come unto Christ, who is the Holy One of Israel, and partake of his salvation and the power of his redemption. Yea, come unto him and offer your whole souls as an offering unto him, and continue in fasting and praying, and endure to the end. And as the Lord liveth, ye will be saved. Alright. Um, time out on the reading. See, there's the verse in this chapter, which is encouraging you to come unto Christ. I encourage you to come unto Christ. Back to the reading. And now I would speak somewhat concerning a certain number who went up into the wilderness to return to land too. For there was a large number who were desirous to possess the land of their inheritance. Wherefore they went up into the wilderness, and their leader being a strong and a mighty man, and a stiff-necked man, wherefore he caused a contention among them. And they were all slain, save fifty in the wilderness. And they returned again to the land of the third land. And it came to pass, they took others to a considerable number, and took their journey again into the wilderness. And I had a brother who also went with them, and I have not since known concerning them. And I am about to lie down in my grave, and these plates are full, and I make an end of my speaking. Next chapter, and the last one for this episode. <clears throat> and now I, being about to deliver up the record which I have been making into the hands of my son, behold, I have witnessed almost all the destruction of my people, the people named after the first prophet to write in the book. And it is many hundred years after the coming of Christ that I deliver these records into the hands of my son, and it supposeth me that he will witness the entire destruction of my people. But may God grant he may survive them, that he may write somewhat concerning them, and somewhat concerning Christ, that perhaps some day it may profit them. Time out from the reading. So this chapter, like, is somebody at the end putting a chapter in here. Maybe when I have the ending episode where I reveal the name, I'll talk in a little bit more detail about this. And now I, back to the reading. And now I speak somewhat concerning that which I have written. For after I had made an abridgment from the plates named after the first prophet down to the reign of this king, um, let's see, yeah, the king who was a king and son of a king and prophet, of whom uh, one writer spoke, I, re see, I searched among the records which had been delivered into my hands, and I found these plates, which contain this small account 
of the prophets from the name of a prophet down to the reign of this king and also many of the words of the first prophet to write. And the things which are upon these plates pleasing me because of the prophecies of the coming of Christ and my fathers knowing that many of them have been fulfilled, yea, and I also know that as many as have been prophesied concerning us down to this day have been fulfilled, and as many as go beyond this day must surely come to pass. Wherefore, I chose these things to finish my record upon them, which remainder of my record I shall take from the plates named after the first prophet, and I cannot write the hundredth part of the things of my people. <clears throat> but behold, I shall take these plates which, con which contain these prophesyings and revelations, and put them with the remainder of my record, for they are choice unto me, and I know they will be choice unto my brethren. And I do this for a wise purpose, for thus it whispereth me according to the workings of the Spirit of the Lord, which is in me. And now I do not know all things, but the Lord knoweth all things which are to come. Wherefore he worketh in me to do according to his will. And my prayer to God concerning my brethren, that they may once again come to the knowledge of God, yea, the redemption of Christ, that they may once again be a delightsome people. And now I proceed to finish out my record, which I take from the plates named after the first prophet, and I make it according to the knowledge and understanding which God has given me. Wherefore, it came to pass that after the one recorder had delivered up these plates into the hands of um, the king and prophet, he took them and put them with the other plates, which contained records which had been handed down by the kings from generation to generation until the days of the king and prophet. And they were handed down from the king and prophet from generation to generation until they have fallen into my hands. And I pray to God that they may be preserved from this time henceforth. And I know that they will be preserved, for there are great things written upon them, out of which my people and their brethren shall be judged at the great and last day, according to the word of God which is written. And now concerning this king and prophet, he had somewhat contention of contentions among his own people. And it came to pass that the armies of the other uh, nation came down out of the land too to battle against this peop his people. But behold, the king and prophet gathered together his armies, and he did stand against them, and he did fight with the strength of his own arm and with the sword of a certain man. And the strength of the Lord, in the strength of the Lord, they did contend against their enemies until they had slain many thousands of them. And it came to pass that they did contend against the, them until they had driven them out of all the lands of their inheritance. And it came to pass, after there had been false Christ, and their mouths had been shut, and they punished according to their crimes. And after there had been false prophets, and false preachers, and teachers among the people, and all these having been punished according to their crimes, and after there having been much contention, and many dissensions away unto the other nation, behold, it came to pass that the king and prophet, with the assistance of the holy prophets who were among his people, for behold, <clears throat> the king and prophet was a holy man, and he did reign over his people in righteousness. And there were many holy men in the land, and they did speak the word of God with power and with authority. And they did use much sharpness because of the stiffness of the stiff neckedness of the people. Wherefore, with the help of these king and prophet, by laboring with all the might of his body and the faculty of his whole soul, and also the prophets did once more establish peace in the land. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a good day.